All right, who have we got now? Who remembers what book of the Bible are we reading at the moment? Genesis. Yes, Genesis. Good job. And do you remember what happened last week, who we were talking about? Hmm. Two sons. They were twins. They were fighting each other. Uh, oh, so close. Isaac and Jacob. So Jacob's one of them. Millie? Yes. Jacob and Esau. Esau. Millie Connolly. Well done. Jacob and Esau. So today we're going to learn a bit more about Jacob what he did, what happened to him and who he married. But we're going to go back and remember, really this story about Jacob in this part of Genesis is a story of just one family. And it's a family that God decided he would make his special friends and he would bless and he would give lots of things to. So we're going to try and remember who the people in the family are and then we're going to look at kind of how that worked together. So the grandpa of the family is called Abraham. All right, Andy, do you want to be Abraham? Okay, Abraham married, does anyone remember who Abraham was? So close, Sarah. Okay, here we go, we've got Sarah. One of Abraham's kids was? Isaac. Huey, you could be Isaac. So you send here. So Isaac married, we don't have anyone called this here? Iris, Rebecca, Iris, you can be Rebecca. So close. <coughs> Okay, now we get to the point of our story today. And remember, he is? Jacob. Jacob. Seamus, you can be Jacob. Okay, so the story today, last week, Jacob kind of tricked his dad into giving him the promise and making sure he was the one that God would bless and he got all of God's blessings. So his family got to become the family that becomes a great nation. So Jacob needs to find a wife. So that's what he's going to do in this story. And he goes and stays with his uncle and he finds a woman that he loves. He loves so much. Her name is? Rachel. Rachel. He loves her so much. George, you can be the next one. Okay, but his uncle tricks him. He has to work for seven years to try to marry Rachel, who he loves. But his uncle tricks him and he marries Rachel's sister, Leah. So he marries Leah first. George, you can be Leah. So he still wants to marry Rachel because he loves her so much. So he works another seven years and then he does in the end marry Rachel. So in those days you could have more than one wife. So he's got two wives at the moment. Sisters, Rachel and Leah. Let's just, parents, you can explain that later. (laughs) Now, the rest of Genesis and actually to help you make sense of the rest of the Bible becomes about Jacob's children. So Jacob has 12 sons. So we've got 12 names here. You don't need to remember them all, but there's 12 names because he has 12 sons. So people are going to have to hold lots. Bridie is going to be Reuben and Simeon. Bride, stand up. Percy. Levi, unfortunately, is already taken. Joe, why don't you be Levi because you've got a brother. You're going to be Levi and Issachar. What a great name. Surprising we don't have one of them in the church. All right. All right. Judah. We don't have no Judas are here. Percy, you can be Judah. And Zebulun, another great name. Gad. Who wants to be Gad? You already got names. You want to be Gad, Abby? Me, do you want to be Asher? Okay. Dan. Naphtali. Who needs another one? Mia. You can be that one too. Can you hold this one too for me? And then we get to his two favourite children who were Rachel's children because Rachel he loved so much so her two two children, Joseph and Benjamin, were her two favourites. So kids, your job for today, look at this, amazing, so many kids. So it was one family, it was a huge family because he had 12 kids and these, do you know Judah had a, um, sorry, not Judah, who's... Who's got Jacob? Seamus, hold Jacob in the air. Jacob had two names. Does anyone know what his other name was? Israel. The the crowd is telling me. Okay. So Jacob was also called Israel. So when in the Bible we talk about the 12 tribes of Israel, that is his 12 sons and their families. So kids, I want you, when you're listening to the story today of how Jacob got tricked into marrying Leah instead of Rachel, 
I want you to remember that what we're looking at is a big family tree and we're learning about that family and how God kept on looking after that family. And then he went on to have 12 kids and it's kind of a clue to unlock the rest of the Old Testament and to understand it is understanding how this family all works together.